I know all my survival guys and preppers are gonna say I forgot their favorite item. This is what Carl carries. <laughs> All right, hey gents, welcome back to Tactical Rifleman. Uh, this video is brought to you in part by the Sportsman's Guide. It's a great place to get all this great equipment that we're gonna cover, all the other equipment that we use, that we use in a lot of our other videos. Check this site out, helps us out too. Hey, the purpose of today's video is, I, I get asked, hey Carl, you showed us a lot of your gear. Show us your bug out bag, show us your bug out bag, show us your bug out bag. I've been putting it off for years because uh, I know everybody's going to bash me for what I carry. Uh, what is a bug out bag? People say, well, it's your get home bag. It's if you're broke down somewhere, it's the zombie apocalypse or the end of the world as we know it. It's so you can walk home. That's fine. But if you plan t walking 20 miles a day, even if you go to the mall a couple hours away, you're looking 200 miles, right? So if I was to take a bag and you told me, Carl, you have to go walk 200 miles, here it is. Now guys, look at the size of this thing. Now I've had guys show up to, uh, we, one of the classes we teach called Modern Survival. I've had guys show up to these classes with bags bigger than this, all right? Um, as you're not gonna walk 200 miles with this. This, you, one, you're not gonna put this in your car. You're not gonna move this to the office with you. You're not gonna take it to the hotel room. Uh, this may be great for, uh, all the books and shit and movies you watch, that's fucking bullshit. You're never gonna use it, never gonna fucking use it. Here's what I carry, all right? Um, nice small bag. Today I'm in my Jeep. Tomorrow if, I take, if I'm gonna be in my Suburban, I take my bag and I take my toolbox out of the Jeep and I put them in the back of the Suburban. Get back the next day I'm gonna be riding with a wife. I take my toolbox and I take my bag and I put it in my wife's vehicle. You understand what it is? It's not uh, filled with all the gear, everything that you need. Your level of training dictates how much equipment you have. Your level of being able to suck it up dictates how much equipment you have, uh, that you have to have. I don't need anything. I can get by with nothing. Right? That's the truth. Knowledge is always going to be your best tool. Knowledge is going to be your best weapon. That said, having certain things makes life easier for you. And that's me. I have a bag right here of things that just help make life better for me. Right, um, right off the bat, uh, I like a bag that does not look military. This one's made by Black Hawk. It's part of their Diversion series. So it's got a holster you can get to from either side. Um, now, great bag. Now, if no matter what bag you use, take it and remove all the reflectors from that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at somebody's jogging and uh, when their, their sneakers get caught by headlights, little shiny, we call it glint tape in the military, but a lot of bags come with little reflectors on them. Real easy, either cut them off or go over them with a black paint pen. Not magic marker, black paint pen. All right, that's it, nice simple bag. Now, um, got a little button compass. That's just a backup to the backup. Now on this side, I've got a set of, uh, we call them uh, pace count beads or ranger beads. And all it's for is, and all it is a cheap piece of 550 cord with zip ties on it that I've cut down. If I have to walk a thousand meters to my next checkpoint, and I know my pace count is 51 steps per 100 meters, Am I gonna count all that way? Fuck no. Count 51, pull one, zip tie down. Count 51 again, pull one more. Get down, all right, when you, there's only nine of them. You go to pull the next one down, it's not there. Pull one down from the top. You've now gone 1,000 meters. Slide all nine of these back up and start again. Anyway, they're cheap, doesn't cost nothing. And that's what I use for doing, uh, Map and compass routes, right? Uh, easy stuff. I'll start with the outside. To me, remember, this is for any day, any day at all. I could be coming back from a wedding wearing Johnson and Murphy's and uh, black silk pants. Uh, 
So for me, right outside, I keep last year's Salmons, uh, my well-broken hiking shoes. When I buy a new pair, my old pair go to the bag. Now, the inside of these things are things that I'm gonna immediately put onto my belt. Right? I've got my Leatherman, uh, my Leatherman Surge, and what I've done is, yeah, it comes with, uh, I've got the extra bit set in it, but I've also got extra uh, diamond blades and extra saw blades, wood and metal. Go, they go right in the back, stick it in. And there's no better multi-tool for conquering the planet than the Leatherman Surge. So that's right there. I have a nice compass that goes on. Uh, it's in a nice case. That'll go on my belt. Already have my pistol on me. You're gonna think I'm mental. I've got a nice little set of lock picks that I carry. Tension wrench and all the different lock picks that I need. Again, this is just pocket clutter that goes into, goes into my pockets. If I've got to move, there's some stuff I want to layer my gear, right? Um, headlamp hang around my neck. And of course, I gotta have my chocolate covered uh, espresso beans. You guys know that's, I have to have my chocolate covered espresso beans. I've got to have my, uh, my headlamp, right? Now, uh, I, I like to go with a small one. This was made by Petzl and it runs off of the watch battery. So it, it's got a 10 year shelf life. Is it the brightest one out there? No, but I can leave it in the bag for 10 years and not have to worry about it. Makes sense, right? This is the bag I'm not getting into all the time. So anyways, that's the kind of stuff that's in here that I would actually stick in my pockets. Now you notice I mentioned layering your gear. That's, uh, that's your EDC, everyday carry. That's your first level. Now what is your EDC? I, you, got, you got your pocket knives. I, I carry uh, a Spyderco with the, the uh, wave hook on it. I used to carry switchblades all the time. I don't carry switchblades anymore. Chapstick, all that stuff. Pistol, extra, uh, extra magazines for the pistol. Um, but what's part of everybody's EDC? Their phones. Now, EDC we're gonna save for a separate video, but one thing I wanna talk about on their phones is, uh, this is not just a phone, gents. This is a mini computer, right? There are certain apps that are awesome to have. Uh, one right off the bat, Gaia GPS, right? maps, satellite imagery for pretty well the whole planet. You can get all the way down to topographic maps. So satellite imagery, you can see all the woods. They don't let you see the actual layout of the land. So besides satellite imagery, I prefer topographic maps. It allow me to pick out those ravines, those ditches, those cliffs that I can't get to. So it allows me to go around them ahead of time. That's one app. Uh, another one is you can store audiobooks, all right? Um, not just audiobooks, but the Kindle versions of a lot of books. I have my whole book set on here. If you want to know what books Carl likes, you can go to tacticalrifleman.com and actually see my whole list of books at our Amazon store. You can uh, download all those books, get them in the, the Kindle version, have them on digits, all right? And a lot of them are on Audible also. And then the last app is, uh, I use Life360, right? Satellite imagery, I can literally go in right now, my daughter's at college, I can open up Life360 and I can zoom in and see her icon at the dorm or at the library, right? It literally is that great. I have found my family members in the middle of Lollapalooza with, you know, 5,000 people watching that one band. I've been able to work through the crowds and get to my family members. So it was just great apps to keep on your phone. All right, we'll start on the outside. Yeah, it's just simple stuff. Med gear, we'll get into that. Um, I got a pill case. Guys, if you got knees as bad as mine, um, your, your Mobic, uh, Tylenol, Benadryl, uh, Imodium, uh, the baby aspirin, I'm, I'm 51, I start having a heart attack, I'm gonna need that baby aspirin. Just simple drugs like that, right? Um, other stuff, um, eye drops, and this little thing right here. What this is right here, this is a, uh, I got it in a Ziploc bag, but what it is, it's a little piece of paper, and on the outside are lists of everything in here that has expiration dates or has batteries. 
right? So my, uh, my plan was, okay, every, every three months, I'm gonna check my expiration dates, check, make sure all my batteries are good. So like my headlamp, uh, PVS 14, flashlights, iridium sat phone, I got my list in here. And then on the back, I just write in the dates of when I did the check. That's it, you don't have to sign it. I'm not packing a parachute. Uh, I used to do it every, I started doing it once a month, then I got the six months as some of these are nine months apart. My last time checking it was February 2019, the time before that, because I just did it for this video. Time before that was about a month ago because I was due, right? Uh, it's simple, but what it does is it allows you to quickly pull it out and go, damn man, I really haven't checked this thing in a while. Or it lets you know when the last time you actually did. So anyway, food for thought. Uh, nobody else ever talks about shit expiring. Then on the other side, signal mirror for me to get to. And sometimes I'll keep a notepad in there, just uh, empty space. Getting up top for medical gear. Um, if I was to dig everything out of this pocket, you'll basically be having my whole uh, IFAC video. All right, so if you wanna see what kind of medical gear Carl carries, uh, you can, uh, Go back and watch that whole video. Tourniquets, ace wraps, all that stuff. Well, hey, before I move on to the next pouch, I'm gonna take a real quick break so that we can uh, let YouTube toss up another advertisement. If I don't do the break, guys, they're gonna break it anyways and stick it in in mid-sentence. All right, guys, so we just uh, finished up the first aid pouch, which was right on the outside where I can get to it. Next top pouch is for all my small little stuff. All right, uh, constricting band with several different kinds of tape. I like medical tape because it breathes, but I also like electrical tape because it doesn't breathe. The cool part about electrical tape is electrical tape does stretch. All right, so uh, constricting band, guys, I've had this constricting band for a long time. Uh, if you see old military pictures of me, uh, it's usually hanging off my vest or off my belt. I've been using it for years. I uh, had forever. Now, um, next thing. You guys know I'm, I'm deaf. Too many bombs, rockets, got Dane Brambridge, but you know I also wear hearing aids. Keep hear hearing aid batteries in here. It's something people would forget. Guys, if, if I had to walk for two weeks, 200 miles, hearing aid batteries. Toothbrush and a little thing of toothpaste. Sounds stupid, but when I was in ranger school, uh, one thing I learned was just brushing your teeth can raise your morale about 4%. That may not sound like much, but uh, and it sounds funny, but uh, personal hygiene is important, guys. Uh, you got to do personal hygiene. Along with that, a uh, little bottle break free for keeping my guns clean and happy. Uh, dental floss, and you guys know I use uh, chapstick for everything. You can use chapstick for everything, guys. You can lubricate the slide on your pistol with chapstick. I, um, you guys know, well, sp spork. I have a titanium spoon. I used to carry the old MRE plastic ones and they kept breaking on me. You get sick of your spoon breaking. Uh, you can dig with it, you can do whatever else. Uh, cost, it's titanium, it weighs, weighs nothing. Backup battery for um, backup battery for my phone. It also works a couple of my other electronic devices. Cable is S-rolled, rubber banded to it. Get one that has the push button that will allow you to check what the actual charge on it. Got all three lights, the puppy's charged to the hilt. You can also double as a, uh, a flashlight, but it burns the battery really quick. I uh, mentioned writing, uh, this is one of those space pens that can write upside down. Now, this one has got two different color inks and a mechanical pencil in it, right? Sometimes pens don't write very well in the rain, right? So it actually has three separate barrels and instead of carrying three separate pens, I have three separate tubes in one container. Again, it's about space and it's about redundancy. I'm 51, I wear reading glasses, guys. Um, what this is, this is a backup 
folded set of reading glasses. Now I went with 3X on these. I don't need 3X to read, but let's say you're having a hard time getting that sliver out, that splinter, or you got to thread a needle to do suturing, whatever, whatever it is, um, reading glasses. They're small, they fold up, they take zero space. Pick them up at Walgreens, takes up zero space at all. Don't laugh, but I carry a coin from one of my old unit, uh, from my old unit. You never know when somebody's gonna coin you. Uh, also, if somebody helps me out, uh, trust me, me giving you my coin is a lot better than me giving you a $20 bill. So I, I carry one of my coins. All right, um, the big pouch. All right, right off the bat, I carry a PVS-14 night vision scope. Everybody's familiar with the PVS-14 Gen 3 tube. Um, I carry extra batteries, battery set. Now, I also carry rechargeable AA batteries. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but what this is right here, this is an IR filter that I can that I can put onto my uh, flashlight that also runs, my handheld flashlight that also runs off the of double A's. What this allows me to do is move in the dark. Guys, I'm not scared of the dark. I'm not gonna move during the day. Whenever possible, I'm gonna move at night. Having the night vision with rechargeable batteries, having my flashlights uh, with an IR filter on it allows me to move without people seeing me move. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want help from anybody. I just want to get from point A to point B. Got my Stasha, um, big fan of using that. Um, got my Nalgene bottles. Now, I love regular Nalgene bottles because uh, you can see in it, that's just, I use Nalgene bottles for everything. For this particular kit, I went with a stainless steel one. Now, when you go with a, this is not a thermos, make sure it's single wall. The reason why it's single wall is so that if you had to, you could boil water in it. Now, I don't wanna use it for that. I want it to store the already clean water, right? But I can use it. So you notice I also have my cup that I carry. This is a stainless steel cup. It's got, I got the handles folded down and then uh, duct taped. Why do I put duct tape on everything? Excellent question, I appreciate you asking. Because I don't wanna have to carry a roll of duct tape. Duct tape is awesome, it is. You can use it for everything. So instead of carrying a roll of duct tape that takes up a lot of space, I put about three feet of duct tape around everything. It's around my stainless steel cup. It's around, it's high up on my Nalgene bottle. So if it was sitting in the fire, I'd, I'd probably take the uh, duct tape off of it, roll it up around a pencil or something. But I have duct tape here. Now, so this space is not wasted. I fill it with other, other items. Where to start here? Roll a trip wire. Do you have to, uh, for making snares, guys, you can wire, if this strap breaks, uh, wiring it back together is awesome. Another small compass, um, two is one, one is none, right? My flashlight, I mentioned my flashlight. Wrist compass, because three is two, that's actually four. I, Dane, Bar Dane Bramage, remember? We'll get a little deeper into it. Uh, knife sharpener. You guys wanna see the knife sharpener? Um, you, you can find it in almost every one of my videos. Uh, they're great, the blades return, uh, spin around on it, and they're a diamond. So all you do is lay it on the other side, and it's got guides. It's got ceramic uh, rods on the side. Now this one is brand new, never been used. It still has the paper instructions on the inside. I leave them in there, it doesn't waste any space. And if I need a dry piece of paper, Tinder, uh, I know where I can look. All right, um, carry two small bottles of, um, this is hand sanitizer, right? Personal, personal hygiene plus Guys, you can start a fire with the hand sanitizers. It's very flammable, works great. Bic lighter with duct tape wrapped around it. I leave enough space at the bottom so you can see how much fluid is left in the lighter. 
What these are right here, these are actually electrolyte tablets. All right, so um, I'll pour one of them out for you. Take one of these tablets, drop it into a quart of water, and it basically makes it into Gatorade. I'm not doing it for the taste. The reason why I'm doing it is I'm doing it for the electrolytes. Uh, sodium potassium pump, that's what makes those muscles move. And you start sweating a lot, moving without a good diet, and you can quickly run down those electrolytes. Now you're cramping and your, your whole body just goes all this shit. Keep going. Another pencil headlamp. I got that one hanging around my neck. Second big lighter. All right, still got my duct tape wrapped around it. Now this is super glue. This is gel super glue. All right, great for closing cuts, uh, whatever. I, I'm not big on using Band-Aids anymore. Um, I prefer to use super glue. Uh, blisters, pop it, drain it, and, and super glue it. Super glue is precious, uh, precious for everything. And then the old Vietnam era bottles of uh, iodine tablets. Guys, there's a hundred tablets in here. Yeah, the taste of iodine sucks. So what? It, it purifies the water, kills all the crap in it. Right, that's a hundred quarts of water I can treat with that thing right there. I have yet to begin to defile myself with this bag. Y'all seen Harry Potter? This bag is actually bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. All right, I'll get to this in a second. Um, I used to carry Life Straw. I now carry this called the Survivor Filter. It, to me, better, easily better. Um, more duct tape around the side, but you'll notice right here, you can actually see the edge of my little Ziploc bag. What I've got is three of the uh, replaceable pre-filters on the outside of the bag. Now, one of the reasons why I like this filter is uh, it's actually threaded at the other end. So you can, you can pick up empty soda bottles on the side of the, side of the road, wash them out, and put contaminated water in them and thread right on to the end and you can suck water through. If you don't want to get that ugly, uh, again, you need to be able to haul more water. These are two collapsible water pouches. They thread straight to the end of this filter, all right? So water guys, right? Water first, then fire, shelter, food, all that stuff's important. All right, before I get to the next six inches down, I've got to, guys, I got to take another break for YouTube to toss another one of those ads in there. All right, gents, welcome back. Uh, let's get a little deeper in the bag of woe. All right, um, got to have a knife, good fixed blade knife. What I've done is I've woven 550 cords so that I can run this through my belt at uh, different angles. Uh, you might notice this knife from a different video. Uh, it is the exact same knife that I carry on my body armor. So in other words, I'm very familiar with the, fa the feel of it uh, in the dark, uh, doing whatever it is I'm doing. It's a great field knife. I heard they don't make them anymore. Tough, I've got three of them. With that hand in hand goes a Sierra saw. I don't care what brand saw you use, but um, if you've ever tried cutting firewood or things for a shelter, nothing beats uh, having a saw. This saw folds to nothing, weighs nothing. It's a great tool to have. You guys know I love my coffee. Now, this is just instant coffee. Um, now, you'll notice if you look, you'll see it looks like salt and pepper in it. Uh, when you buy anything in any store, it's only filled about two-thirds of the way. Wasted space. I like a little sugar in my coffee. Not to mention the carbohydrates would help you in a survival situation. Fill the rest of it up with sugar. Even if I'm not in a survival situation, if I just want to make coffee while I'm taking care of a flat tire. Coffee. Now, I mentioned electrolytes before. Um, I like, a lot of people don't like them. They're the emergency packets. All right, they're small, you dump them, you're supposed to dump them into eight ounces of water. Um, I got the super orange ones. Uh, I, I personally prefer the coconut pineapple ones. You laugh, but if all you've been drinking is swamp water and river water for a week, 
Uh, just pouring one of these things into a quart of water, guys, uh, it, it'll brighten your day and your body definitely needs the electrolytes. When you start talking food, there are, what kind of, what kind of chow are you going to pack into your uh, bag? I like things that uh, do two things for me, lots and lots of calories, and I don't want to have to keep replacing it. So I run the, the uh, Coast Guide bars that go in the um that go in like your lifeboats on your your cruise ships uh it is no joke let me make sure i'm not lying here 3600 calories per bar i carry two of them now there's three or four different brands if you attend our modern survival classes i tr let you try all of them some taste better than others some students prefer some over the others i got i, I particularly like the taste of this brand so guys that's uh just shy of 8,000 calories right there, 7,200 calories in that, uh, that little space. All right, dig deeper. Now, um, figure eight, you know where I'm going with this if you've seen some of my other videos. I carry a figure eight, I carry a snap link, and I carry a roll of Spectraline. All right, now, uh, this stuff is 2.5 millimeters in diameter and it's rated for 1,200 pounds. 1,200 pounds. 1,250 pounds, sorry. 1,250 pounds, all right? Double that up around a tree, go down the side of the hill, you get to the bottom, grab onto one end and pull it back around the tree, roll it back up, and now you're standing at the bottom of the cliff and you're able to move again. Um, if you're interested on the techniques I use, we're going to have a separate video on how to do it that you can find in the video archive. Now, I'm not saying I don't use 550 cord. 550 cord's down in the bottom. You've got to have a couple hundred feet of 550 cord. Why? Because it's 550 cord. You've got to have it. All right. Um, this is a small uh, SOL. People uh, love their space blankets. This is kind of like a space blanket, but it's already sealed like a sleeping bag, right? So um, if that's all you've got, you can get up inside that thing and it reflects all your body heat back. And you notice this, it takes zero space at all. That, my Stasha and my Mountain Sharape, uh, brother, I'm ready to brave the elements. Military double-ended toothbrush uh, for cleaning weapons. Uh, uh, famous in the military, everybody gets them in their weapon cleaning kits. Uh, they're great for, you got to take care of your blaster, you really do. Not to be confused with the toothbrush that I use on myself. Now I have uh, two uh, head filters and you'll notice I also have some coffee filters. Coffee filters are awesome for making expedient uh, water filters, things like that, but they can also be used as expedient uh, dust filters for over your mouth. They take up zero space, guys. There's 100 uses for a trash bag, 100 uses for 550 cord. There's also 100 uses for coffee filters. I mentioned trash bags. Two or three lawn and garden bags, they lay real flat. Emergency ponchos, cut the arms out of them. Uh, tarp to lay underneath you while you're sleeping. Can't go wrong with trash bags, takes no space. Now, um, guys, this is body glide. This is not uh, deodorant. I don't care what I smell like, but uh, this is actually body glide. If you've ever been on a 12 mile road march, sweating your ass off, you get chafed. I'm here to tell you if you've got to walk 200 miles, uh, one thing you don't want to do is get chafed. It's fine. You won't find that on anybody else's bug out bag list. I don't give a shit. All right, this is my stuff. All right, so uh, body glide. I, I mentioned uh, communications as being part of the basics. Cell phone, whistle, um, smoke signals. This, guys, is a iridium sap phone. I keep it in waterproof bag, Ziploc, and then I run a few uh, rubber bands to protect the screen from getting crushed. All right, but guys, what this is, is this is called an Iridium satellite phone. Now, um, you're looking at $49.95 to buy 10 minutes with this thing, and it costs $250 to activate it.
Right? Now, if I'm going on a trip somewhere, some shithole overseas, because there are a lot of shitholes overseas, right? you pay the $250, you get it, uh, get it turned on, get however many minutes you need for that trip. But um, if things start going downhill and you're worried about the uh, cell phone towers going down, quick call, pay the $250 and get your phone activated. You don't have to call mom, it's for emergencies. So $49.95 and you make your minutes. Now there are alternatives, uh, alternatives to this. Uh, a lot of people will use the spot, the small beacons. They're great, you can text message all over the place. It doesn't cost you as much money. That is an expensive piece of kit, guys. Very expensive piece of kit. Um, I don't care. I don't care, that's what I carry. All right, um, almost there, I promise. Let's go to the back. We're gonna go to the back. We'll go to the back bag. Now, um, you, you'll notice I always wear low cut shoes. So what I carry are, I don't like six sets of these. Uh, these are gaiters. I can put them on, they cover the bottom of my pants, they go down around my low cut shoes. People think of gators are for snow. Uh, for me, going through the brush and the brambles, it's better for keeping all those thorns and shit out of my socks and from getting down inside my shoes. Plus, they'll keep, uh, they'll, they'll keep snow and stuff out of my shoes, keep my feet dry. The, the advantages of Gore-Tex shoes is they'll keep water from coming in. However, once the water gets inside of those shoes, it's in. So you gotta keep the water out. Uh, I, I run. Uh, gators. Now, um, waterproof extra socks, beanie, three rolls of toilet paper in a Ziploc bag. Guys, you got to stay comfortable. Not about using leaves. All right. Um, set of mechanics work gloves are the same size as the ones that are in the Jeep that I use all the time. Go with stuff that you know that works. All right. This right here, guys, is a fold-out charging panel, all right? It's, uh, it's actually still got beach sand on it because I get this out every so often to charge my, my cell phone and my wife's cell phone when we're laying on the beach and Gulf Shores, all right? That's one part of it. Uh, the cable for it, by the way, is the same USB port cable, mini USB, uh, that matches the Iridium cell phone. And then this is the charger that it plugs into with the rechargeable AA batteries. Now, I, it still has the uh, USB out port, so I can charge my cell phone with this, but I can also use it for charging the AA batteries for my night vision, for my flashlights. I, I've seen lots of other people, they talk about, oh, you gotta have a recharger for your cell phone, for your cell phone, for your cell phone. Guys, that's fine. I care about more than just my cell phone. So uh, all my tactical gear runs off of CR123s, but the stuff in this bag, I prefer gear that runs off of double A's just because it's easier to find double A's on the planet. And uh, I have rechargeable double A batteries. This bag right here, guys, it's empty. What is this? This is a, it, it's a uh, compression bag that will hook to the bottom of my bag so I can carry more stuff. Why would I want that? If anybody thinks, oh, just grab the bag and go, that's not the case. Uh, I'm, let's say I'm getting ready to leave my Jeep. This Jeep is packed to the gills with great stuff. I, look at your situation. Do you have other people traveling with you? Uh, if you do, uh, uh, you might want to consider taking certain things. If you've got five or six people, you ever use one of those water hand pumps? Yes, it's better than a, uh, a straw, water filter straw, but it's not as good as a hand pump. I got something better. We're gonna use it in another video, but if I had to, I would pull this out of the Jeep in a heartbeat. This is the it's same as that pump one, except this puppy runs off of, can you say it? Say it for me. It runs off of double A batteries, right? I would take this out of the Jeep, one wire down, uh, one hose down into the water, one into my Nalgene bottles or my collapsible bottles. And now uh, it's a liter a minute. 
push the button, turn it on, and let the puppy run while you're working on other things. So anyways, it doesn't take up a lot of space, and I could stick it into this bag, hang it off the bottom of my other bag, and now it's allowed me to add a lot more stuff to this bag. What else would I grab? This time of year, uh, I'd probably grab my mountain shirape that's already cinched down in a uh, compression sack. Toss that in there. There's, there's so much good shit in this Jeep. Matter of fact, I probably wouldn't ever leave my Jeep. I'd just live there and build, a, build myself a two-story house with a three-car garage. But anyways, that's why I have that bag to go along with my bug out bag. It's empty. Let's say you're in your office and you've got to leave the office building. What do you have there in your desk that you want to take with you? Brother, there's no room left in this bag, very little room, but by having this other uh, bag that I can hook on the bottom. It allows me to carry a lot more gear. So anyways, that's why I use it. Um, maps to go along with the compasses. Now this one says South Southeastern United States. Guys, I've got a stack of these. Whatever part of the US you're going to, grab the map for that part, stick it in the bag. I don't carry all five sets. I'm not walking to California. I'm walking home. So ha have maps. All right, um, fishing kit. I, I carry a roll of uh, uh, spider wire. It's Kevlar line. It's hollow in the middle. Guys, I, I fill it up with fishing stuff, uh, hooks, weights, everything else. And then I also love these things. They're called speed hooks. Great for fishing and cooking, but these puppies are also awesome for making snares out in the woods. You got squirrels, chipmunks running around your yard, go buy some of these speed hooks, man, and have a blast with them. All right, uh, film crew's telling me it's time for another break, so what we're gonna do is YouTube is gonna stick up another one of those ads. All right, gents, welcome back, and lasses. I, I can't forget about Susan out there in Australia. All right, gents. Um, Getting to the bottom of the bag. Uh, uh, this is a sheet of moleskin. Uh, it doesn't take up any space, lays across the back of the bag. And it, uh, what do you use moleskin for? Blisters. Remember, you're, you're soft, you're gentle, you're an internet ninja, you, you work in an office. You've got to walk home. Brother, go, do, go walk 12 miles this weekend and tell me you don't get a hot spot. I don't like blisters, so I know where my hot spots are ahead of time. I put moleskin on, helps me uh, save my feet. All right, um, takes up zero space. I won't get into the, uh, the holster built into the back. I keep three magazines already preloaded for my Glock. Um, rubber bands around them, not tape. I've seen guys tape magazines, they think it's awesome until they take the tape off and now their mags stick inside their guns and they can't do speed reloads. You'll notice these have got um, ball ammo instead of the expensive hollow points. I used to run the expensive hollow points in them, but uh, magazines are actually on my little list of things to swap out. And on, I'll be honest with you, I got tired of swapping expensive ammo out of these mags and putting them into new mags. So I shot up my, expensive ammo, and now I just put ball ammo in here. Ball ammo's still good, guys. Hit what you're shooting at. But anyways, uh, that's why you'll see cheap ammo. I don't wanna hear people bitching that um, I don't, I'm not running good defensive ammo. I don't care, I, I run ball, and I have a reason for running ball. I'm lazy. All right, uh, last but not least, I have, um, this is just a small Velcroed light on a string. The military runs them a lot on their helmets. Um, you turn it on, it'll go solid green or it'll go strobe. They come in red, they come in IR. We would run them on the back of our helmets IR. Take up zero space. I could run an IR one because I have nods, but I prefer the green one. Here's why. If I have to, let's say I have picked myself out a nice little bush that I want to stay in. This spot is perfect, I wanna stay here. Cool, if I have to leave it for whatever reason, I will go 100 meters due east of that spot and I will hang this from a fucking branch. 
I'll leave it turned on, broad daylight, all right? If I get lost coming back in the dark, I'll be able to find this light. Once I find that light, I know I turn due west, I go 100 meters, I'm right back at my spot. If somebody else finds it, they're not gonna find my location because it's not right there. Um, anyways, doesn't take up any space, runs off of a watch battery and has a 10 year life, so long as you're not using it. Uh, keep it dummy corded off and it stays attached to the uh, Velcro in the back of the bag. Guys, that's it, bag's empty, all right? Um, that's a lot of shit, you asked for it, so I apologize for boring the living crap out of everybody. But um, guys, this is what's in my bag that Carl has in his Jeep I bring from place to place. So I, I challenge you, can you survive? Could you do it? Um, what would you bring? And if you're one of those guys that shows up at my classes with a 300 pound bag, you know the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have everybody put their bags on and we're gonna go out for a uh, hour walk in the woods and you're immediately gonna go to your car and you're gonna start taking stuff out of your bag before you come back in the classroom. Happens every time. So anyway, streamline your stuff, make it as light as possible. Um, two is one, one is none, right? And, uh, but know how to use your gear, right? Uh, layer it, but uh, just, you gotta have the, the bare basics. We have a separate video for survival basics. Check those blocks and then think about what nice to have items are you willing to sacrifice weight for and what other things are you willing to sacrifice and go without. So anyways, you gotta weigh the pros and cons of both. That's all I've got for this week, gents. Uh, you know the deal, leave the comments below. I know all my survival guys and preppers are gonna say I forgot their favorite item. This is what Carl carries, all right? Um, Y'all take care, I'll see you next time. Shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything. If you like the shirt that we're wearing in the video, you can get it in our store.